Okay, so what we're gonna do, we've got our FLIR BTS and our uh, two video cameras set up together. And so we're also going to take a lovely little Battlefield smoke grenade. This is just a basic airsoft grenade, it costs about 25 bucks. But uh, we're gonna test and see if the FLIR unit can uh, see through it. In theory, because it's working off of heat, not light, it should totally ignore anything coming out of this smoke grenade. She works. Ah, shit, that's uh, off the mark. Okay, let's go get it before it gets too hot. God, I hope that unit can pick me up now. So here we are. On the other side of the snow. So does that work or what? So we're looking at a FLIR BTS unit here. This is one of their largest units. You can get this with a 640 by 480 detector. And this has interchangeable lenses and is one of the few ones that you can use with uh, both eyes on it. This is essentially like an upgraded version of the Scout TS series. The big thing is the lens. This here is a 35 millimeter lens. You can get a 60 and 100 millimeter lens as well. And those will reach out a long way. The nice thing about this is you get adjustable focus. So the system is an auto focusing for you. If I want to look at something that's right at my feet, I can do that through the BTS. And with the 100 millimeter lenses, I can look well over a kilometer for these. It's a bit more to carry, but with the manual focus and the high resolution detector in it, you get some of the clearest, sharpest thermal images out of this unit.